Okay, can we can we just pull the audio, Shane? Um, enforcement officer of the United States, Thank you. but also I, I, vested this is Cory Booker. in that office Senator the responsibility to pursue civil rights and equal protection for all of America. He's talking about Jeff Sessions. Senator Sessions has not demonstrated a commitment to a central requisite of the job, to aggressively pursue the congressional mandate of civil rights, equal rights, and justice for all of our citizens. In fact, at numerous times in his career, he has demonstrated a hostility towards these convictions and has worked to frustrate attempts to advance these ideals. If confirmed, Senator Sessions will be required to pursue justice for women, but his record indicates that he won't. This is Corey, he will Senator be expected to defend the equal rights of gay and lesbian and transgender Americans, but his record indicates that he won't. He will be expected to defend voting rights, but his record indicates that he won't. He will be expected to defend the rights of immigrants and affirm their human dignity, but the record indicates that he won't. His record indicates that as Attorney General, he would object to the growing national bipartisan movement towards criminal justice reform. His record indicates that we cannot count on him to support state and national efforts towards bringing justice to the justice system and people on both sides of the aisle who readily admit that the justice system as it stands now is biased against the poor, against drug addicted, against mentally ill, and against people of color. Senator Cory Booker, His record indicates to Jeff that Sessions. a time that even the FBI director is speaking out against implicit racial bias in policing and the urgent need to address it, at a time when the last two attorney generals have taken steps to fix our broken criminal justice system, at a time when the Justice Department he would, led, he would lead has uncovered systemic abuses in police departments all over the United States, including Ferguson, including Newark, Senator Sessions would not continue to lead this urgently needed change. The next attorney general... There we go. This is Senator Cory Booker is testifying. ...systemic abuses in police departments all over the United States, including Ferguson, including Newark. Senator Sessions would not continue to lead this urgently needed change. The next attorney general must bring hope and healing to this country. And this demands a more courageous empathy than Senator Sessions' record demonstrates. It demands an understanding that patriotism is love of country, and love of country demands that we love all of our citizens, even the most marginalized, the most disadvantaged, the most degraded, and the most unfortunate. Challenges of race in America cannot be addressed if we refuse to confront them. Persistent biases cannot be defended unless we combat them. The arc of the moral universe does not just naturally curve towards justice. We must bend it. If one is to be attorney general, they must be willing to continue the hallowed tradition in our country of fighting for justice for all, for equal justice, for civil rights. America needs an attorney general who is resolute and determined to bend the arc. Senator Sessions' record does not speak to that desire, intention, or will. With all that is at stake in our nation now, with an urgent need for healing and for love, I pray that my colleagues will join me in opposing his nomination. Mr. Go. Chairman, my time is over. I'd like to submit the rest of my testimony to the record. I'd like to again thank this you. This is Senator your... Cory Booker. He was just testifying. Uh, he, he, he himself is a United States senator, but he asked to be able to testify to the Senate against Jeff Sessions as attorney general. This is a guy who's a colleague of Jeff Sessions, who knows Jeff Sessions, who works with Jeff Sessions, who is, hey, well, you heard what he had to say. And this is, this was my take on Jeff Sessions too, is, 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 you know, uh, Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. First of all, wasn't Jefferson Beauregard like a famous Civil War general? Uh, I think it might have had to do with Appomattox. I, I, in any case, I, I don't remember my Civil War history well enough to know, but but it, it's uh, 
if you look at the difference, and I, you know, I talked about this yesterday, and I, I, I'll just say it again very quickly, and then we'll get back to your phone calls and things. But if you look at the difference between Jeff Sessions and Robert Byrd, Robert Byrd was openly racist when he was a young man. He, he grew up in West Virginia. He came up in the Klan. He was a member of the Klan. He was a member of the Klan when he was elected to public service. And then somewhere, and I, I don't know Robert Byrd's personal history well enough to, to be able to tell you exactly when it was, but at some point in the 60s or 70s or thereabouts, Robert Byrd had a, you know, Paul on the road to Tarsus moment. He had that epiphany, or on the, on the road to Ephesus, I guess it was. Um, Paul of Tarsus, on the, on the road to, to Ephesus. He had, he had an epiphany. He had an awakening that the Klan was wrong. Now, Jeff Sessions is arguing, basically, that he's had that similar experience. I mean, he hasn't come out and said, oh, yes, I used to be a racist, and I'm not anymore. What he's been saying is, I never was. But the record is fairly clear. And the difference is that Robert Byrd then spent the rest of his career just absolutely busting his chops to make up for what he had done, to, 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 to strengthen civil rights in the United States, to defend voting rights in the United States for, for minorities and people of color. Robert Byrd became, I mean, 92 years old, they rolled him out onto the floor of the Senate to vote for Obamacare in a wheelchair so that poor people, including people of color, could have health care all across this country. The late Robert Byrd, you know, he was the example, but Jeff Sessions is no Robert Byrd. And, and I'm with Cory Booker. I, I, I do not think this man would make a good attorney general. We need an attorney general who will defend the right to vote. We need an attorney general who will, who will, who will come down on police departments that are engaged in, as Cory Booker pointed out, in, in so many uh, of these, uh, shall we say, uh, activities that involve bias, for lack of a, of a, of a catchier slogan. Anyhow, I'll pick up your phone calls after the break. It's 28 minutes past the hour.